In the presence of Dame Marcella Leibert, Governor General of St. Kitts and Nevis, the St. Christopher National Trust ceremonially marked 130 years of the historic building that houses the National Museum, while disclosure was made of restoration works to begin soon. Ms. Edsel Bradshaw Keynes, Executive Director of the National Trust, provided the first hints of restoration works as she gave recognition of the economic contribution of the old Treasury building. The new building, and I repeat, the new building will be waiting to be discovered by each new generation. As we commemorate this milestone, let us not only celebrate the past, but also embrace the promise of the future. May the old treasury building continue to inspire and captivate all who will pass through its hallowed walls soon and very soon. And I repeat, soon and very soon. Serving as a reminder of our rich heritage and the enduring spirit of St. Christopher and Nevis. The old treasury building, 130th birthday, a beacon of history, a symbol of resilience, and a cherished cornerstone of our beloved city. Here's to another century of grandeur, preservation, and boundless wonder. It was Lindbergh Alvaranga, project manager with the St. Christopher National Trust, who outlined the scope of work that will be done on the old Treasury building that today houses the offices of the National Trust and the National Museum. The scope was developed by the uh, project engineer Danielle Steele, who is a specialist in, in building restoration throughout the region. She's based in Trinidad. And, um, the project may be simply described as the faithful restoration of the building, trying to restore it to its former glory. Um, beyond the regular site cleanup and things like that, the scope of the project entails repairs to the walls and the removal of the Portland cement from joints, um, repairs to the cracks in the walls, applying the historic lime mortar um, in, the, in the designated areas, repairing and replacing metal doors and windows, including the replacement of the, um, the balconies that were formerly there, the wrought iron balconies. We have detailed pictures of what they used to look like back in the day, and they're currently being fabricated by um, specialists who do that kind of thing. So it will be the original thing. may not be the exact same thing. It won't have some of the rust, but it will still be original. We have um, repair to the roof, um, in particular the cupola. Um, and the metal ceiling, that tin ceiling that you see inside, um, we have repairs for that. And hopefully, it's not the, f the scope doesn't in entail the full replacement of some of it, but hopefully, if funds allow, we could incorporate that bit into it. And also, the replacement of the wooden floors. Kevin Taylor, president of the St. Christopher National Trust, reaffirmed the commitment of the Trust to transform the building through the restorative work and to create a modern documentation center that is highly digitized. As we celebrate this milestone, let us look to the future with optimism and determination. The Treasury building may be 130 years old, but our history is far from over. We, the board of directors and members, will ensure it continues to evolve with the times. Upon the completion of the restoration of the building, which hosts the St. Christopher National Trust, will be armed with the latest technologies and innovation to better serve the needs of our people and visitors alike. Finally, let us reaffirm our commitment to preserving and cherishing this iconic landmark for our future generation. The occasion of the building's 130th anniversary was toasted and guests were invited to join a historic tour of Bastyr on the St. Kitts Sugar Train, a collaborative three times per week tour of the National Trust. Glenn Bart reporting for SK Newsline.